This video will show the basic steps involved with the removal of the caravan wing. First, turn off all electrical power, ground, and defuel the airplane. If air conditioning is installed, discharge the system using a refrigerant recovery machine per Chapter 12 of the Maintenance Manual. Remove the attached screws from the lower wing root access covers and remove the covers. On the 208, remove the attached screws from the strap fairing assembly and remove the fairings. On the 208B, remove the attached screws from the fairing assembly and strap fairing, then remove the fairings. Remove the attached screws from the air inlet cover and upper lift strut fairing, then remove the cover and the fairing. Remove the attached screws from the lower lift strut fairing and remove the fairing. If installed, disconnect DI system plumbing at the connections inside the wing at the upper lift strut attached location in the wing root area. Loosen and remove the forward and aft hose connections of fuel base supply lines in the wing root area. Drain the residual fuel. On the left wing, disconnect the three hoses of the fuel vent system at the cross inside the inboard wing bay. Loosen and separate the electrical wiring connectors in the wing root leading edge. Cap and stow connectors to prevent contamination from debris. Disconnect the flap motor and crossover push rods at the inboard flap bell cranks. On the left wing, Disconnect the pitot and static lines at the connections in the leading edge root area. Cap the lines to prevent contamination. Remove the headliner and disconnect the turnbuckles to relieve tension on the aileron control system carry through cables. If the right wing is to be removed, disconnect the aileron trim cables at the quick disconnects located in the inboard leading edge wing bay. If air conditioning is installed, disconnect, cap, and stow the refrigerant lines in addition to the intake and outlet ducts. Disconnect the fuel tank shutoff valve control at the clevis of the aft valve lever arm that is located in the wing root area. Remove the shutoff valve control cable from the wing and move it so it will not interfere with the wing removal. Using a wing jack or a hoist, raise or lower the wing tip to make sure that all the load is removed from the strut to wing attached bolt. Remove the nuts from the upper and lower strut fittings. Remove the upper strut to wing attached bolt. If you cannot remove the bolts with your fingers, a bullet may be fabricated to help drive the bolt out. Refer to the bullet fabrication and use in the maintenance manual. Support the wing struts and remove the lower fuselage to strut bolts and then remove the struts. Mark the location of the incident setting on the index marker arrow that is on the head of the rear attached bolt to the face of the fitting so the incident setting is kept when the wing is reinstalled. Remove the forward and aft wing spar attached bolts. The wing must be separated from the fuselage at as near normal a dihedral angle as possible. Any motion up or down at the wing tip greater than one inch as the fittings are being separated will damage the attached fittings. Carefully move the wing outboard until the lugs on the wings and fuselage are separated. Place the removed wing on padded support.